Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing my update number one of my project pan, my full face project pan, I believe I called it. It's actually more than a full face because I do have body care and nail products and like other things in it too. So, and hair, yeah. So I don't know why I called it a full face, whatever. <laughs> And it's a rolling project, which means if I finish something or I declutter or whatever, I roll something else in. And I try to have like two products per category just to have like different options. So I'm going to try and do this quickly because it is a lot of products. I have them all laid out here and it's a lot. So it's probably going to be a long video. So if you didn't see the intro, you should watch that because I go into more depth and I show you like where all the products are in my collection and things. But for today, I just have everything in front of me so I can easily reference. And I actually weighed things this time. So for my next update, which will I guess be in like July, um, then I'll, I don't know hopefully see some differences because you're not going to see much in the way of difference from the first video because I didn't really keep track of things like I should have. Anyway, let me just get started. So I'm looking at my list on my computer which is why I have to wear my glasses in these videos or else I will not see anything. So let's start. The first category is primer. Um, and I still have my First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. This feels empty, but every time I go to use it, there's more products. So I think it's all like at the bottom here, because this feels very weighted at the bottom, but like there's nothing here. So I, I don't know how much is in here really. I can't see anything when I hold it to the light, so I don't know. But I did weigh it and it's apparently 22 grams. So I guess we'll see if I finish it up. Um, yeah, but that, I thought I would be done with this, but it's unfortunately still here. Well, not unfortunately, because I actually really like it. I'm wearing it today, although this makeup has been on my face for like... I don't know, eight hours now, <laughs> so, but I really like this product and I would repurchase it if I didn't have so many other primers to go through. The other primer that I added to this project was a mini, the Bobbi Brown Face Base. I actually didn't use this one time. <laughs> I, I mean, I used it once, but that was before I put it in this project, so I didn't even, I actually forgot about it, to be honest. So, yeah, I was just so focused on trying to finish that one that I didn't even touch this, but I'll keep it in here. And that's 30 grams. For foundation, I still have the same ones, which I'm not surprised about in this category because they're both like still pretty full. Well, not so much this. This is actually a BB cream, the Organic Wear BB cream from Physician's Formula. This is 27 grams. I don't know why, why I'm even telling you the grams, because like, I don't know what that means compared to what this weighed in the beginning. So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, this also kind of feels similar to the primer in that it's like weighted at the bottom, but the tube itself is just full of air. So this is probably, I can't tell at all, but it's probably, I don't know, it feels like it's around here. So hopefully I can finish this up by the next update. I actually like wearing this in the summer because I believe it has SPF 20 in it. It doesn't say so on the tube because in Canada there's like weird laws about that. But if you look this up on the website, I'm pretty sure it says it has SPF. So that's an added bonus. 
The other foundation I'm not doing good on. I only used it twice, I think. It's my Tarte um, Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. They don't even make this anymore, which is why I want to use it up. Also, it's the oldest foundation in my collection. So, this looks kind of like I used a lot if you look at it from the side there, but I don't remember how full this was to begin with. I don't know. Um, but this is the foundation I'm wearing today, but like I said, my makeup's kind of like expired by now, but <laughs> Uh, I do really like this, which is good because I have a lot <laughs> left to use. And this is 171 grams, but I think most of that is because this is a glass jar and it's like really thick and heavy, so that's why that weighs so much, but there's that. Um, for concealer, I'm working on the same one. I don't want to um, add anything else because I really just want to get this out of my collection since it's the oldest concealer I have. Um, these Tarte products are pretty old because when I first got into makeup, it was like right around the time Tarte did their... They do this sale, I think like twice a year, where you can get like five full-size products for... I think it used to be $65 Canadian, but I did notice that started going up. But anyway, it was a really good deal. And you can pick like some of their like best sellers too. And you get like a bag and everything. It's kind of fun. But so this was another product I got when I got the foundation. Um, this, I could see it better before, but since I used it today, I shook it up because it's very liquidy. But it was, it's like around the bottom here. So I'm pretty confident that I don't, well, I don't think I'll finish it for the next update, but I think I'll finish it this year for sure. So that's good. And also I think this has been discontinued because I tried to look for it on Sephora and they didn't have it. So yeah. Um, for my powder, I have the same one. I don't think I made much progress on this either. I rarely use powder like I used to, um, but this weighs 65 grams. That's another thing I don't understand about <laughs> packaging. When it says net weight, it means, I thought that meant net is like total. No, I'm, I don't know, I might be really mistaken on that but this is net weight 20 grams so i don't know what that means <laughs> anyway um i don't even know you probably can't even see if anything but i guess it's like halfway done um the problem though with this is that these two products don't go together so if I'm trying to use this up, I can't put this on top because the textures just don't mesh well. So, I don't know. I did use it today, but just like really like a light dusting just to set my under eye. And it seemed okay, but it doesn't work like how I used to use it was like I would kind of bake with it, although I didn't even intend to be baking. I just wanted to like catch any fallout from my eyeshadow look and then I would swipe the powder away but um, I don't really do that anymore and I I wouldn't do it when I use this concealer. So I don't know. We'll see about that. My setting spray is the same one. This is what it looks like. Pretty similar <laughs> to how it looked like in my intro. But I have been using this quite a lot. Maybe it's because the mist dirt? No, it is a, it's very wet. So I was going to say maybe the mist is light, but it isn't. Like I have to hold this very far from my face because it drenches me. So I don't know what's up with that. But this, um, this weighs 65 grams. I don't know. Same as the powder. But 
I do think I like this. I didn't, at first I was like, is this even doing anything other than just like drenching me? But I do think it's, it adds like a, a glow to the skin, kind of like the MAC Fix Plus, but I do like the MAC Fix Plus better. So yeah, I'm just trying to use this up. I got it in a boxy charm a long time ago. For my bronzers, I have the same ones. And you're not going to see much progress on this. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It pretty much looks the same. Um, I did notice like it has like some splotches of hard pen. So I hope that's not going to spread or anything. Because I already find this product is more difficult to pick up than other bronzers I have in my collection. Um, but I don't know, that should be a good thing for a project pan because it means I'll use more. And I actually used this today um, for my eye look, so that's another way I can get some use out of this. And on my face, I used my Fenty Cream um, today, which, I mean, it looks used, but I don't think you can see any real dip in this. <laughs> Um, this one weighs 62 grams. Did I say this weighs 68 grams? So, a lot of that is this heavy packaging and there's a brush on the bottom. So, I don't know. I just, I mean, I like both of those products anyway, so it's not like I'm using them when I don't like them. I do. Um, for blush... This hasn't been getting much use at all, maybe once or twice, the Hourglass Mood Exposure, and it's because this shade is not the shade I gravitate toward this time of year. I really like more vibrant blushes in the spring and summer, so I never like want to reach for this, but I guess I'll keep it in for fall winter. What I have been reaching for more is this Tower 28 Magic Hour um, that I can never open. I don't know. I mean, there's no dip, but you can see I've used it, I guess. Um, I really like this, although I feel like it absorbs very quickly into my skin. Maybe it's the shade that's like quite neutral but I really like the formula and how it blends out and everything and it has, adds like a nice glow like a dewiness to the skin so I really like that for highlight I haven't been really reaching for my Becca opal maybe one time once or twice I this is one of my favorite highlighters in my collection so I'm not like worried about it but yeah, I just haven't really reached for that for some reason. But I have been reaching for my Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops. I'm wearing that today. You can't see my makeup when I wear glasses, really, but um, I really like this. It just, like with liquid highlighters, you just have to work differently. So I understand why people prefer powder ones but well maybe people prefer cream now I don't know I feel like powder highlighters are kind of going out of style but anyway you have to like work with this product you have to like warm it up in your hands pat it out and not leave it too long on your face I find that with a lot of um, cream highlighters you have to really blend them in with your fingers um, and or like with a brush because if you use a sponge it just like I don't know sets the the product down doesn't blend it out so that's the only thing that bugs me about this but if you can see like this is one of those airless pump type packaging so it moves the product up as you use it so I have gotten um, some use out of it <laughs> so I guess I'll Mm, I don't know. Maybe I could finish this by July. 
that's very ambitious to say but I do use like a full pump of this when I use it and since it is so small to begin with a full pump you could see the difference so yeah oh and the Becca Opal is 25 grams and the Marc Jacobs is 15 grams I'm pretty sure I forgot to say the grams of other things but I don't know if anyone even cares um, for eye primer slash cream the made up category I made up just so I could add this in the touch of the pearl this is going down very slowly but that's because I'm using it as it is intended which is a rice grain amount for each under eye um, I actually like this product it just like I have to remember like if I don't have it in my drawer I would completely forget I own this because it's just an extra step for me but I do like it when I use it and it doesn't seem to disrupt any of my concealers that I put on top of it and you can wear it alone as well so yeah I mean this will probably be in here for a long time but I am using it regularly and that weighs 66 grams the other product in this category is my Urban Decay Primer Potion which I can't see progress on because of the way the packaging is but I feel like I am using this quite a lot because I've had to like work the tube to get more product to come off on the applicator and I think eventually I'd have to actually use the tube to dispense the product because it's probably like coming down to the end where the the doe foot cannot reach anymore but I use this every time I do my makeup now and I've grown to really like it so yeah there's that and that is 17 grams so a big difference from the Tatcha but the Tatcha is like a heavy packaging as well for eyeshadow palettes I don't know I was like should I even weigh these like what is that even gonna mean but I did just because I was curious so the modern renaissance palette I don't have any pans on it yet and I only used it once I think it still looks like this pretty much the same um I do have like quite a dip in this shade because I use it every time I do a look with this palette but I that's really because um, ABH shadows are so powdery and like loosely pressed in there that you use a lot at once um, but I did really like the look that I did with this palette and I mentioned in my intro that I was adding this in because I was watching other people say that they felt the formula was changing on theirs and that was like worrying me because I haven't gotten a lot of use out of this and I did buy it like when it was relatively like newly launched so but I don't find I don't see any difference it still performs really good and yeah I really like it so and I think my goal for these palettes is maybe like to have it just one pen and when I get to one pen, maybe I'll roll in something else because I'll never pen this whole palette. So to get to give me some kind of encouragement, I think that's a good rule to have. So if I hit one pen, I can roll in something else. And the other palette I have, which same kind of thing, I got it when it was new. Uh, actually, no, that's not true at all because this is the version that has the shades written down and the new the the old ones the original version didn't so this is like a newer old palette but it is the oldest palette in my collection um i love this it still smells like chocolate and it has like everything i need to do a full look so again maybe if i get one pen although that's 
I don't know how that's going to happen because the cream shade in this palette is the big one. So I don't know. And I'm not someone that like puts the brush in the same place every time just to hit pan. So I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, just there's an update on that. But I do get a really nice look out of this for like daytime. So I use this cream shade all over and I use this shade in the crease and yeah, this one to like deepen up and marzipan on the lid is really pretty. So yeah, there's that. Oh, and the Modern Renaissance is 189 grams and the Too Faced is 209 grams. For eye topper category, I didn't remember why I called that an eye topper category. So I put a slash shadow pot because it's all like my single shadows that are in pots, basically. So that is my benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow Liner in RSVP. I actually really like this. Even though it's dried out and not the same like it used to be, it still applies really nicely like an eyeshadow. I, it used to be like a creamy type thing, but it's really dry now, but it's still, you still pick up the pigment and the base. And I don't know if you can see, like, that, look how pretty that is. And this product is ancient, so <laughs> I'm basically, I think this will probably like completely dry up before I, I would hit pan, but once that happens, I'll consider it done, but I, I'm fine to leave it in until I can't use it anymore because it's just so easy to use. You just apply with your finger and um, in the crease, I went in with my butter bronzer um, to just like blend the harsh line and I really liked how it looked. So I'm keeping this in and I'm not going to add anything else in that category. And the same for liquid slash gel liner. I only have one because this is something I never use. I ne I haven't reached for this at all. The VDL Expert Deep Matte Liquid Liner. And not because I don't like this product. I actually don't even know if I like it because I never use it. I never use black liner. And it's funny because when I was younger, that's the only makeup product I use. Like I didn't use foundation, concealer, blush. I just put black liquid liner on. And I did that like every single day of my life. So, but for some reason now that like intimidates me, I, I hate to do like a full eyeshadow look and then go in with liner and ruin it somehow. So I don't know. I miss keeping this in. I was tempted to use it today. Yeah, I just went to like run some errands with my mom. So I was like, I'm not gonna wear black liner to do that. So yeah, but that's only nine grams. I'm not even sure if this is a full size product because it looks very small and I got it from Influencer in a box with other VDL products. So I don't know. For my eye pencil, I, it's my Urban Decay Lucky, which is this pencil here. This is five grams of product. I have used this actually quite a bit because I feel like it works with many eye looks that I do since it's just like a nice copper shade. Um, yeah, this looks like I used a lot, but um, I kind of cheated. <laughs> this was a small size to begin with. It came in a set of like many different colors, but this was the only one that was still like creamy. So that's why I kept it, but I actually really like this. And I um, like to use this when I use my Urban Decay Kristen Leanne collab eyeshadow palette because it just like complements the shades in there. So yeah, I'm happy to keep this in and I guess I should have marked it or like measured it. I don't know. I'm learning as I go. 
from mascara. So this is the, a category that gets a lot of movement because mascaras don't last that long as many of you probably know. So I finished, and when I say finished a mascara, it's very rare that I actually used up the product. It's more like it got dry or the formula changed or it just got too old so I put it in my empties. I didn't actually like empty the tube but anyway so one of those is my it superhero which i really like i would probably repurchase one day but i have so many other mascaras to use first then my l'oreal lash paradise also kind of the same thing it just got like the formula got too old and it started crumbling onto my face but I kept the primer. Where did I put that? The Voluminous Base. Um, this is still going fine because it's just like one of these white lash primers and it's still like nice and creamy. And I am happy to report that it works with the other mascara um, that I'm trying to use up. The Maybelline Sky High. I actually really like this mascara. Um, it's just... Any mascara that's open is going to be added to this project because I always want to just have one mascara open, maybe two that I'm using at, at a time. So the other one that is actually also open is my Wet n Wild Mega Length because I use this for my lower lash line. So these three products I can use all at the same time so I'm confident that I'll use them all up and yeah I was considering like I was thinking maybe I should add a high-end mascara just to have some different products to use in videos but I don't know I feel like these are fine plus I normally do mascara off camera and if I ever do like a, a dedicated video to something like I was thinking um, of doing a full face of Makeup Forever and I have a Makeup Forever mascara so I would open that when I do that video that kind of thing so um, yeah these are three products in that category I'm not going to roll in anything else and this was 16 grams the Wet n Wild is 17 and the Maybelline is 22 for brows same three products but I have been using them. Um, even this Cabral, which I was like, am I even going to ever use that? I feel like I have a nice little dip in there. And this is a product that I do dip in the same place every time because I use the sides of the dip to wipe the excess product off. So I probably could pan this theoretically, but I don't use it every time I do my makeup. But I am wearing it today, so. And I do really like the brush that's in the cap here because it's nice and small and stiff so you can actually use it to do like brow. And then these two products I get more regular use out of and I always use them together. My Essence Make Me Brow to add like fibers and color and then my Milk Makeup Kush Clear Brow Gel which I'm just trying to use up because I don't actually like this. I don't like the brush, how small and short it is because it doesn't like lift my brows and it and because the bristles are so short I feel like I'm just like pasting gel and then I have to always use my finger to flatten them so <laughs> yeah I mean it's since it's open and I don't like hate it it just there's things about it that annoy me. I'm still going to try and use it. But if you saw my last video, I did get the Anastasia Brow Freeze. And I'm more excited to use that than I am to continue using this. So I don't know how it's going to go. And the Cabral has 31 grams of product. The Essence Make Me Brow has 11. <clears throat> and the... Oh, 11. That must be... This must be pretty much empty. If it only has 11 grams, like compared to these other products, I think this is almost empty. Um, and the Milk 
clear brow gel has 14. So, yeah, that sounds good, I guess. <laughs> For lip liner, I still have the same two, but I am getting good use out of them. They're both from Aveda. I have a nudie, like, pink one in the shade Foxglove and this more, like, reddish brown one in Tarragona. I love these. I can use them all over the lips as like my main lip color or just to like define before I go in with a lipstick and they both the these colors work with the other lip products in this project so that's another bonus and I seem to be using them both like at a pretty steady rate because they both have five grams of product so yeah for lipstick it's not going so well. I haven't been like wanting to reach for lipstick really. I have a lot of like lip oil type products that I like and glosses. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But I did wear this today actually while I was out. I wore it all day um, because I wanted to see do I even like the shade of this enough to keep it around. And I was considering decluttering it because I have another lipstick from Makeup Forever that I thought was the same shade but it's not. This is Cherry Bud from Aveda. That's all that I have left here. Um, I actually really like this shade and it is like a perfect cherry red which I like and I think is pretty unique to my collection like compared to the other reds that I have. So I'm going to keep trying to use this up um, and I don't mind the shade of it for this time of year because it looks a lot darker in the tube I find. Like this looks quite like a vampy fall shade but on the lips it's more in like a cherry red and it wears off really nicely too and it goes with the um, Caragana lip liner so I use these two together. So that's my cherry bud. The other lipstick I have is the Too Faced Sex on the Peach, the little mini guy. I only use this once, but I really liked um, the color, so I'm keeping that in. And I mean, it's so small. Like, if I don't finish this this year, I don't know if there's any hope for me. Liquid lipstick. Okay, so in this category, I'm actually decluttering something. So I put these two Sephora cream lip stains. I put this one, I believe it's called Pink Tea or something like that. And this is just like the 01 red staple shade. Um, I actually have not used this one time, so I'm keeping that in. This I did use, and this color looks very bad on me. <laughs> Even Josh was like, what happened to your lips? <laughs> He's like, oh, I thought they were blue. I'm like, no, this is like a grayy tone that I thought looked cool, but apparently no. And it, I did know it, like it just, no. It makes me look like a quartz, like this shade is just not for my skin tone. So I'm going to declutter this guy and because I'm decluttering that one and I'm only left with this one liquid lipstick in this category, I'm rolling in a new product and that is this Bite Amuse Bush. What is it? I can't read this. It is so small, but I know it's the shade Whip. And I think they don't make these anymore. But these were like, oh, I think they were called liquefied lipsticks. And it was very, like, a very accurate description because they're not liquid lipsticks that dry down matte. It's, it feels like lipstick that melted on your lips, kind of. So I added this one in for to have a nude option. And this is also something that's getting a bit old in my collection and it's bite so it's made with like natural ingredients. But I am a bit worried that it's the same kind of grayy tone but it does look more warm right so 
If that doesn't work, then I'll just roll in something else, but I'm gonna try and use that one up. For lip gloss, I'm keeping the same ones. I like them both. The Too Faced Sweet Peach in Pure Peach. This is very pink on me, but it's a pink that I don't mind. Um, it smells really nice, and it even smells like when it's on your lips, but not to like good grossness. <laughs> Like, it, it doesn't annoy you, it just smells nice, and it feels really good on the lips. So, yeah. I don't think they make these anymore, but I really like them. I hope they bring them back, because they are bringing back, by the way. Too Faced is bringing back those blushes that everyone used to have in their YouTube videos. The heart ones, I never tried them because they were already, like, discontinued, I think. Are they discontinued? I haven't seen them anywhere. Anyway, they're bringing them back, so I guess they were discontinued. So anyway, all that to say, I wish they would bring back these because I have another sh um, shade in a full size and I really like it. So I'm keeping that one in. And that, oh, I forgot about the grams of the other stuff, but this has 13 grams. This other one, the Benefit California Kissin, only has seven grams. Um, this is a product that they don't make anymore, again. <laughs> and it's not a blue lip gloss. It actually just has like a blue tint and it's supposed to like brighten your teeth kind of thing. I don't know. I don't really care about that, but I do like the smell of this and how it feels and how it looks. And yeah, I'm going to try and use that up. Because I have noticed that I can apply it over other lip products and it just adds like a nice shine to lip balm. I still have the same ones. So I have my Revlon Kiss and my Tarte Lip Quench. But the thing about this is that I actually did finish this and most people would say that's done. But if you look in here i don't know if you can even see but there is like another like full almost not an inch but more than a centimeter of product in this tube so i've just been going in with my aveda lip brush to get it out because i really like this i love how it smells and i really like that it has spf in it so I'm just going to keep using it until it's really done because, I don't know, I just really like it. <laughs> so I'm keeping that, although I guess it's done to most people. And then my Tarte Lip Quench um, has a bit of, yeah, I think there is a difference on this compared to when I brought it in. Um, another product, this is a favorite of mine. I'm wearing it right now. I was going to put more, but I don't need to. It's just so good. So there's that. This one has 12 grams. Oh, they both have 12 grams of, well, not of product. That's how much the whole thing weighs. If that tells you anything, I don't know. Then for nail polish product. Okay, so that, I think that was it for the makeup. So if you don't care about anything else, you can switch off now, but I'd like you to stay if you <laughs> want to, but anyway, um, nail polish slash nail product. So this one I actually just used for the first time like two days ago. This is what I have on my nails now. It actually looks okay from afar. so. But if you saw it up close, it'd be pretty awful. I don't do my nails usually. I get them dip gel, whatever it's called. Um, but I haven't been going there because of like all the restrictions and everything. And then my nails were just like bad. Like I think I did it too many times in a row and they were so like, and they were like paper thin, it was really bad. Um, but now they're nice and hard again, so I thought, oh, I'll do my own nails. So I used both of the products in this category. The Sally Hansen Diamond Shine. This is supposedly a base and a top coat, but 
as a top coat this okay i'll show you later this is the vera moda icy morning so that's the color i have on but look what happened with the two products together so can anyone tell me like is it is that normal because i think what might have happened and i'm trying to show you like all the bubbles i don't know if you can see that but it basically like bubbled up and i think it's because um uh this was still wet when i went in with the sally hansen and that's what caused that so i think next time i try it i'll make sure like Maybe I'll do this one night and then this the next day just to see if that helps because that's really dumb. Like, I want to use this as a top coat because it says right on it, base and top coat. So, yeah. And this product, I can't even... I, I really don't think there's much use on it. This is very old and I was like, this is probably expired and not even going to work, but I really actually liked how it applied. It wasn't opaque in one coat, but in like two, it was perfect. So yeah, and I really like this color for summer. So there's my nail products, which I don't know. I'm going to have to do it again because I already have a chip in this nail. And fragrance, I have the same ones. But you didn't see one of them last time because it was still at my condo. So I'm kind of cheating. Two of them are samples. The Marc Jacobs Daisy. This has like two, two or three uses left. And the Black Opium from YSL. Maybe like three or four. But this is not... Black Opium is like a nighttime fragrance to me and something I would wear like if I was going out but I don't go out because we have a curfew still <laughs> so that's why I haven't been using this at all. Daisy is more like something I wear throughout the day and I really like but I've been really using the other product in this category, my Airy Body Mist. So this has gotten quite a lot of use. And I do like spray this pretty liberally because it's not a perfume, it's like a body mist. So, and it actually smells really nice. It reminds me of vacation because I took this with me on my last vacation, like my real vacation when I actually left the country. Um, this is the Airy Be Chill Coconut Water and Hibiscus Body Mist with Aloe. So I actually love this product. I don't think they make it anymore. It's quite old. I don't even know. Is Airy still a store? I think they closed. I don't know. Anyway, I like this a lot, especially for summer. So that I probably will have done this year, hopefully. Oh, and that weighs 142 grams. So it's a lot of product compared to other things like for comparison the Marc Jacobs was four grams and the black opium was three grams so yeah um then for body products I have my Aveda stress fix this is a body cream stress relieving aroma it's incredibly thick it's honestly like a body butter but as you can see it's been used it smells really good so yeah it's just I don't use this kind of product in the warmer months because of the thickness of it so I don't know how much I'll get used out of that but it's like there's a big dip in there anyway so I just like to use it up and the other product that was in this category was my Avon Footworks overnight renewing foot cream this is amazing like I don't know this might be the best foot cream I ever tried um I'm rolling in another product because this is done this has like maybe one 
use and I plan on using it tonight. I was going to use it before but I actually got a pedicure um, for the first time since the pandemic and it was really nice. But anyway, I didn't want to put foot cream on right away because they use like a lot of exfoliating products and everything and this is supposedly like a renewing foot cream. It does have like beads. I think the beads are jojoba oil though. They're not like exfoliating beads. But anyway, this is done. So because that's done, I'm rolling in a body lotion because this is the best time of year to use a product like this, especially this one. This is the Belief Body Bomba Body Lotion in Ylang Ylang and I really like this. My mom bought this for me on a... oh my god. I just... I just wanted to smell it but product came out. My mom bought this for me because she knew I really liked the Belief Moisture Balm for the face. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know they made body products. So as you can see, this is very like light lotion texture and I really like Ylang Ylang. So I'm happy to use this. I mainly use it on my legs, sometimes my arms, but I'm not really someone that, I know some people, they come out of the shower and they like lotion their whole body. I don't do that. I don't know, I just don't. But I'd like to. I would like to be someone that does that. But I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, that's the lotion. And the scent is really nice and refreshing and not too strong. So I like that. Last two categories. Skincare. I still have the Milk Makeup Cooling Water. That was a bad idea because now my hands are all lotion-y. I said in my intro that I was probably going to consider this done because the intro was actually not really an intro. It was an intro on YouTube, but I had started the project like on my own way before I even had a YouTube channel. And I was like, oh, this is basically considered done because as you can see, the product like shrunk away from the tube. Uh, but I actually have been using this because I get really dry around my nose here. So I've been applying this like when I do my skincare. I think it has helped a little, but part of me also is like, is this breaking me out? Cause I have been getting like some, not like fully like um, white heads, but like, I don't know how to explain this, like bumps underneath the skin. And I'm like, is it because of this product? I don't know. So I don't know how much longer I'll keep this, but this was the milk cooling water. The other product is empty. Oh, I didn't even show you my, I only have three empties of this whole project. These were the mascaras, if you were wondering, the Ed Cosmetics Superhero and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Those two are going in my empties. Um, and then my Sephora Coconut Water Hydrating Mist, which is actually sad because I really like this and they don't make it anymore. But that's like completely done. So because of that, this is the only other product in this project. So I'm rolling in two more products, but you'll see why <laughs> they're basically empty. This Tarte Micellar Magic Makeup Remover and Cleanser. So, down to there. This, um, I've mentioned before on my channel, I don't like it to remove my eye makeup because I don't find it removes makeup very well. But I do like it all over the face, like when I, already, when I don't have any makeup on, but I want, like, if I do my skincare at night, and I want to put makeup on in the morning. I don't always like wash and do my whole thing, right? Is that normal? I, I feel like, I don't know. So sometimes I just go in with this all over the face and it feels really nice and refreshing and it takes off like any dust or debris. Um, and then I go in with all my other stuff, but 
So that's how I prefer to use that, but I will use it to remove my makeup just to use it up because I have another micellar water that's way better to remove makeup. Plus I have a big jumbo like value size bioderma that I haven't even opened yet. So I have plenty of micellar waters that one can go. And then my glow recipe. You've seen this a lot. So that's how much product I have left, which you may be like, that's one use. But with this product, because the mist is so fine and gentle, this could last me like another week, like two, two, three weeks maybe. And I use this every day. So yeah, but that should be done by my next update. Um, I think that's it. Oh, hair care. Okay, last category. This is so long. My Aveda Shampoo Dry Shampoo. I don't think I used this one time, but it's almost empty because it has 35 grams and this says on it 56 grams. So, I mean, I've used a lot of it, I guess, but it's a powder. When you squeeze the bottle, it comes out as a powder. So it's deceiving if you do it by weight anyway. But I haven't really used this. I just, I don't really use dry shampoo lately because my scalp is so dry and it gets itchy and I prefer to just wash it with my Briogeo um, coconut oil exfoliating shampoo than to put product in it. Anyway, um, then the other product is my Brilliant Finishing Gloss. This is up to here, so getting good use out of this. And I have like super long hair, like it's down to my butt. So I can use three pumps of this at a time and get like faster use out of it. I have been thinking though that this is drying out my hair. I have to look at the ingredients more. Um, but yeah, I feel like since I started trying to use this up, my hair is more dry. I don't know. And the last product is my Briogeo Rosarco Milk, which honestly feels like it's empty, but I can hear liquid in there. It's probably like around here. So that this is another thing that will probably be done by my next update. I use this weekly, so yeah, and I really like it. So that's it. I won't um, talk much longer. I'll do another update in July and we'll see what happens. But yeah, this is tons of product. So I'm just, you know, trying to use stuff up, trying to get out old products, trying to roll things in. And I do not keep things that I don't like, like that, that Sephora thing. I didn't like it, so I'm going to declutter it. Like, I'm not going to pan stuff that I don't like. So you might see some movement in that sense as well. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!